Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and this is going to be my top five horror recommendations for the month of September. Now, every month I pick out five of my recommendations along with two honorable mentions, and this, of course, is the month of September. Now, I did watch 104 movies this month, and I always share with you the movies that I do not own, which do not make, of course, my top five or my honorable mentions. When I was over at my daughter's house, I watched Wrinkles the Clown, which is a really cool documentary. I enjoyed it a lot. And I watched uh, Trancers City of Angels, which is a segue between the first Trancers and the second Trancers. Very good. I really enjoyed it. I also watched VHS Revolution, which is a documentary on VHS. Great film. And VHS Love. I watched both of those on Tubi. They're on there now, I do believe. And they're definitely worth a watch, in my opinion. Alright, let's get to the meat and potatoes. Go with my... I'm going to try to get through these quicker, because I knew some of my videos last a little too long doing this, so try something a little different. First honorable mention. Joe made this for me, and it's Chubbies. I finally understand what Boglins are now, since everyone talks about them. I didn't know what they were. Apparently, they were purchased from a store and painted for this movie, so... I understand now. This movie is a lot of fun. It reminds me of Full Moon. All right. My second honorable mention is Shadow Zone. This is classic Full Moon. I've been on a Full Moon kick. I dug this out and decided to watch it, and I enjoyed every minute. And that's Shadow Zone. All right. Coming up at number four is Black Devil Doll. I had a great time with this. This pretty much offends everyone equally, and I am so sick and tired of cancel culture, so this was a breath of fresh air for me. I enjoyed every minute of it. It's goofy, it's low budget, but boy is it fun. Coming up at number four is Primeval. Joe and I will be doing this for Positive Spin. He picked it up. I've had it for a couple years, but never watched it. And I really, really enjoyed it. Apparently, it gets a lot of hate. I really don't know much about this movie, but I had a great time watching it. So, Coming up at number three is going to be Witchcraft 6. Now, I could have picked a lot of these movies from my top five, and they would have qualified, but I decided to only use one, and that is going to be Witchcraft 6, which was the top of my ranking, and the top of Joe's ranking, um, just a great Witchcraft film, my favorite one to date, so yeah, Witchcraft 6, thank you Joe for making me this collection, it is awesome, love it, number two, is going to be Crimes of the Future. I am a huge David Cronenberg fan. With me, it's always been the three C's. Carpenter, Coscarelli, and Cronenberg. Not necessarily in that order. This movie is very much a Cronenberg film. And it's one that you're going to have to watch a few times. I mean, I understood everything that happened, but it takes a while for some, some stuff to sink in. One of the things I said to Joe is, with Cronenberg... You are thrown into a movie, into a situation that you know nothing about. And it's not something that you're going to understand right away. You have to kind of sit with it a while. The same is true with Scanners, Videodrome, The Brood. It's just, that's just the way he does his films. And this one is no different, and I loved it. Crimes of the Future. And number one is The Monsters. Probably my favorite movie of the year thus far. I had a great time with it, and it brought back a lot of really nostalgic memories for me. So let's run through it again real quick. Number one is The Monsters. Number two, Crimes of the Future. Number three, Witchcraft 6. Number four, Primeval. Number five, Black Devil Doll. And my two honorable mentions are Shadow Zone and Chubbies. 
you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.